This is me. I scored the winning goal in the Champions League final. You might think this is your basic rags to riches football story. But you're never going to believe how I got here. So me and my best friend Jude were training after a Sunday League football game and Unai Emery was very impressed. Now I have to be honest, you guys have impressed me. He gave us a trial and let's just say we did well enough to get a professional contract. Dude, we are pro footballers after years of hard work and we are finally here. I know what you're thinking. Surely two kids from a Sunday League team in Mexico were never going to cut it in the Premier League. <laughs> How wrong you are. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Villa Park for the opening day of the Premier League season. We have Aston Villa taking on Crystal Palace. Aston Villa boss Unai Emery has made two shocking signings this season. Two young starlets called Edgar Salinas and Jude Malvado. How will they fare today? Aston Villa with the ball playing it round very nicely. Chipped over the top into young Edgar Salinas. And that's a great goal on his debut. What a fantastic finish from the unknown Edgar Salinas. Musa Diaby with the ball, he plays it over the top. Brought down by Leon Bailey, can he do something? Chips it across, great header, and that's a second goal for Edgar Salinas. Who is this kid and where did he come from? At half time, and with two goals under his belt, Edgar Salinas' debut is off to a fantastic start. The unknown young player is certainly making a name for himself today. At the start of the second half, we do have a substitution as Malvado comes on for Watkins. And now we get to see Malvado on the ball. Lovely control, plays it in. Diaby is clear through. And that's a great finish across goal from Moose and Diaby. 3-0 to Aston Villa. They're making a real statement here. Great control, and it's into Malvado. With the finish, Malvado on his debut as well. This pair of young players have really made a statement today. And that is the final whistle. A glorious win on the debut of Edgar Salinas and Jude Malvado. What an opening day for Aston Villa. Brilliant. Just brilliant. Brilliant is the only way to describe Edgar's debut game as a professional footballer, and we are lucky enough to have him here for an interview today. So Edgar, tell me how did you feel about your performance today? I can't lie, I'm so happy right now, Fabrizio. I've just made my professional debut, and I was able to score two goals. I'm over the moon right now. It doesn't get any better than this. So right now, I'm just looking forward to my future, playing here at Aston Villa. You weren't the only one to score on your debut. Your teammate Jude also got on the score sheet. How do you feel about his performance? Ah, uh, my best friend Jude. Yeah, he also had an amazing performance. Coming off the bench to make his mark is amazing. I'm excited for Jude, however, as we have been best friends our whole lives. We've been through everything together, from the youth leagues back in Mexico to signing our professional contracts together. It's an absolute dream to play with my best friend at this level. And I promise to the fans that there's a lot to come from both of us. Welcome in, Jude. I have some good news for you. Uh, hey, boss. What's up? Listen, son, I know you've been working hard in training, and you always give 100% when you come on as a sub. And with Ollie Watkins getting sent off last game, I'm going to give you your first start against Manchester City. This is your opportunity to show both me and the fans what you're capable of. Go out there and make us proud. Really? Thank you, boss. Thank you so much. I've been working so hard for this moment. I won't let you down. Jude, let's go! You're starting your first game. I'm so excited for you, man. Thanks, man. I'm so nervous. I've been working my whole life for a moment like this. I'm so worried I'm gonna blow it. Jude, it's gonna be okay. We've been through everything together. You're an amazing player. You will shine out there today, and I will be with there with you every step of the way to help you. It is a cold November at Villa Park as current European English and FA Cup champions Manchester City make the visit to try and upset Aston Villa by taking all three points. Will Aston Villa have what it takes to conquer this Goliath? Malvado on the ball, lovely bit of skill, he's in the box, what can he do? He hits the post. Once again Villa with Edgar Salinas into Malvado. Malvado, it's a great save from Edison. 
Ball played in now, Edgar Salinas to Malvado, back to Edgar Salinas, what can he do? He's taken down by Edison and that has to be a penalty. Edison receives a yellow card as Edgar Salinas steps up. Can he convert this penalty? Edgar Salinas puts the ball wide of the post. He knows he should have done better than that. Salinas carries the ball, he takes it past one, takes it past another, lovely skill, what can he do with this, can he find an end brother, yes, great Travella, what a finish from Edgar Salinas, that puts Aston Villa in front. Manchester City now searching for an equaliser as the ball is played over, Erling Haaland on the volley and that's a great save. A corner to Manchester City, what can they get from this, it's whipped in and that's another great save, out for a corner again. What can Manchester City produce from this corner? That's over the bar from Haaland. Salinas battling with Walker. They both go to ground. Edgar Salinas on his feet. He has the ball. Lovely bit of skill. He's in the box. What can he do? He squares it. Malvado, what a goal. That's the second. That will be the winner for Aston Villa. And it all came from Edgar Salinas. As the ref blows the whistle. And Aston Villa, the David in this story, conquer Goliath as they take down the treble winners from last season that's my boy Jude your first start your first goal we should go out and celebrate man you deserve it you were great out there no man you don't want to celebrate I I don't understand this is a huge moment for you you started your first game and scored why wouldn't you want to celebrate it's not that I don't want to bro but I have to stay focused you know that Football doesn't come as easy to me as it does to you. I hope you understand. It's okay. I get it, man. Well, I'm proud of you regardless, brother. Have a great night. A close race for Europe. Things are heating up this Boxing Day as we have a clash between Manchester United, who are currently fourth in the league, and Aston Villa, who are fifth, just one point behind. With the emergence of Edgar Salinas as the new star striker at Villa, we could see them push for Champions League football if they can overcome teams like Manchester United. Boss, I've been here for four years now, and in that time I've had the options to move to other clubs, but I turned them all down. I stayed here because I want to be the star player, the first choice up front. It's what I was promised. I understand, Ali, but right now, Edgar's in brilliant form. He has to be the first name on the team sheet. There's no other way around it. But the second striker spot isn't locked in fully, and there's no reason you can't challenge Jude for it. A huge Boxing Day game in the race for top four, and Aston Villa cement their claim on a European place for next season. Aston Villa, Malvado has the ball, presses into the box, and it's a great save. Salinas plays to Malvado, Malvado with a lovely bit of skill, what can he do? He tries to bend it, but it's a great save. Aston Villa really piling on the pressure with Edgar Salinas into Malvado, and no, he's tackled. Villa not letting up as they keep the pressure on, Malvado has the ball. Will he play it to Salinas? No, he loses it. That is half time, and Aston Villa, having had all of the possession and all of the chances, have failed to score a single goal. What will change in the second half? And it looks like Ollie Watkins is coming on for Jude Malvado. Could this be the change that Villa need? Aston Villa now looking to press forward for that goal. Edgar Salinas into Ollie Watkins, and that's a great finish. Ollie Watkins finds that goal and puts Villa in the lead. Salinas once more takes it into the box. He has the ball and he's taken out by Harry Maguire, who receives a yellow card. That will be a penalty to Villa. Ollie Watkins steps up to take this penalty. Will he put the ball in the net? And yes, he does. That's 2-0. Two goals for Ollie Watkins as he stakes his claim for a spot in that starting lineup. The final whistle sounds as the managers shake hands. And that is another huge victory for Aston Villa. Edgar Salinas' performance was incredible. Ollie Watkins with the goals. And Aston Villa look on course to qualify for the Champions League. Hey bro, another great game, another win. What an upset. I'm heading out to celebrate tonight. You should come bro. This was a huge win against top four rivals. Nah man, I know it was a great win, but I just don't feel like it. What, 
a shock. Aston Villa take fourth place in the league. Could they really challenge for a Champions League spot this season? Here to answer this question, we have Aston Villa manager Unai Emery. My Emery, do your team have what it takes to get into Europe's top competition? This is our aim for the season. We feel we have what it takes to finish in the top four this season. We want to be playing Champions League football next year. I think as you undoubtedly saw today, much of our success is down to the form of Edgar Salinas. This young man has come into the club and hit the ground running and right now he's performing like the best player in the league. His performance today was surely the reason of our dominant performance and with him leading the side, I only see great things ahead. Must be nice to get all the credit for none of the work, Salinas. Come on, Ali, ignore the media, man. You know how they like to stir things up. This was a team effort today. We all won. We all should be happy. Hello, Mr. Salinas. It's great to meet you. Thank you for taking this meeting. Hi, it's my pleasure, but I'm not sure what this is all about. Well, let me cut to the chase. I'm a big admirer of you, Edgar. You are a fantastic footballer, and I think you would be a great fit for Real Madrid. We are very interested in bringing you to the club, and to be blunt, I would like to know how much it will take to secure your signing in this transfer window. Wow, I'm flattered. Real Madrid are a huge club, but for me, it's not a matter of money. I am happy where I am. I'm enjoying life at Aston Villa. And more importantly, I'm alongside my best friend. And that to me is more important than any money you could offer. I'm flattered by your interest, Mr. Ancelotti, but at the moment, I have no interest in leaving Aston Villa. That is a shame, Mr. Salinas, but I respect your position. We'll keep in touch. This just in. In breaking news, it appears that Edgar Salinas and his representatives have met with Real Madrid coach Carlo Ancelotti over a potential move for the young Mexican to Real Madrid. Will this potential transfer develop before the end of the current transfer window? With us today, we have Salinas' current team at Oli Watkins. Oli, with Salinas being your main rival in the Aston Villa squad, will we see one of you move this January? And if Salinas remains, will that mean you will be looking for a move elsewhere? I am not looking to leave Aston Villa, and although my place has been under threat a bit this season, I will win back my role and become the main striker at Villa. It may be for the best if Edgar does leave in all honesty, so we can get things back to the way they should be. Edgar, take a seat, son. You've had a fantastic debut season, and I couldn't be happier. I took a risk on you this summer, and it really paid off. You have been in great form, which has led us to where we are today. One more game left, and if we win, we're playing in the Champions League next season. You'll be starting alongside Oli today. I want you both to play to your strengths, and hopefully, we can take the points from Arsenal and land ourselves in that top four spot. Good luck out there. I've worked my ass off this season. I don't know why he's starting Watkins over me. I know, bro, but don't worry. One day, you'll take that second striker spot, I'm sure of it. We are at the Emirates Stadium and it all comes down to this. The final day of the season, Arsenal in fourth place and Aston Villa one point behind in fifth. Aston Villa need a win to qualify for the Champions League. Aston Villa playing the ball around nicely into Watkins. He puts the ball away. Great assist from Edgar Salinas. And that is 1-0 to Aston Villa. Aston Villa playing the ball out of... No, they've lost the ball in defence. Arsenal with the counter. Can they do something with it? And that is a headed goal from Bakayo Saka to make this game level once more. It's now one all. The RB with the ball for Aston Villa. Chipped over. Edgar Salinas is there. He plays the ball across. And Watkins puts it away. What a brilliant first time assist from Edgar Salinas. This kid is unstoppable. Martinelli pressing down the wing. He knows Arsenal only need a point. He knows he needs to get this goal for Arsenal. Chipped it across. And that's another great goal. This time, Niketia puts the ball in the net for Arsenal. And it's 2-2. Salinas with the ball, carries it, he's into the area and that is a terrible challenge from behind. Surely a penalty and yes, the referee gives the penalty as Edgar Salinas steps up. Hey man, what are you doing? I'm the pen taker. Salinas taking the penalty, Salinas puts the ball away. That's a great goal and he is the hero, not just of the day, but of this season. Edgar Salinas sends Aston Villa to the Champions League. What a fantastic goal as the ref blows the whistle. Unai Emery shakes Mikel Arteta's hand and thanks to Edgar Salinas, 
Aston Villa are going to the Champions League next season. Yo Jude, I know you're not happy about being on the bench, but this is a huge moment for us. We are in the Champions League, you know what that means. More games next season, more opportunities for you to prove yourself to the boss. You're coming out with me tonight, bro. I'm not taking no for an answer. This is something we have to celebrate. Plus, the season is over. It's time to relax. Okay, okay. You win, bro. Let's do it. I don't care how good his form is or how many he has scored this season, boss. I am the penalty taker. He should have given that penalty to me. It's not his decision to make. I understand, Oli, but what's done is done, and we won. We're playing in the Champions League next season. I think you need to relax, enjoy the team celebrations tonight, and come back refreshed for next season. I am relaxed. I'm just sick and tired of this kid stealing my limelight. Dear, oh dear, we have received some disturbing images from an anonymous source who informs us that Edgar Salinas, the Aston Villa hero of this season, went missing for over three hours during the team's end of season celebrations and after an extensive search of the, the nearby areas was discovered unconscious inside a dumpster. As you can see in this image provided by our source, he isn't the first footballer who enjoyed drinking in the off season, but drinking enough to end up in this state will surely affect him and his career in the long run. Yo Jude, what the hell? I know I had a few too many last night, but is this true? I don't really remember too much. Yeah man, we were looking for you for ages. A few of the guys wanted to call the police and were worried. Then Watkins called and said he had found you, we all came over and you were in that dumpster. Jeez, but how the hell did the press get a hold of that photo? Did anyone else see me? I don't think so. As far as I'm aware, only Watkins, me and a few other guys from the team saw you. And we all helped you get out and we got in a cab and headed straight home. I'd be worried though, bro. The boss isn't going to be happy when he sees this. Come in, son. Take a seat. Hey, boss. I know what this is about. And first, let me just apologize. I don't really remember much, but I must have had a few drinks too many. And one thing led to another. It won't happen again. I'm worried about you, Edgar. I've seen far too many players who couldn't handle the lifestyle, the fame, the pressure. They end up turning to alcohol, and I want to make sure that doesn't happen to you. But also, you have to understand that as an Aston Villa player, our star player this season, you are a role model, and you are a representation of this club. Anything that is reported in the media about you reflects poorly on this club too. I understand, boss. And again, I'm sorry. Okay, lads, this competition isn't like anything we've done before. It's going to be ruthless all season, and we need to be at our best, and we need to play to our strengths. So tonight, we're going to be playing with a 4-3-3 formation. I want Salinas in the middle as a lone striker, with Diaby on the right, and Watkins playing on the left. I'm a striker, boss. Why the hell am I playing on the wing? We need more width, and Edgar was our top scorer last season, so he's the best choice for the central role. This is a joke! Well, it's a left wing or the bench, son. You decide. That's what I thought. Go out there and give them hell, lads. Aston Villa, the 1982 European champions, return to Europe here at Villa Park as they take on AS Monaco in this first Champions League group match. Aston Villa shaping up in a 4-3-3. The ball played into Salinas, who puts it in the back of the net. That's a great finish. What a goal from Salinas. This 4-3-3 formation looks to be doing wonders for Villa. Aston Villa now pressing the advantage. Can they do something with it? Salinas once again turns back and puts it in the far corner. Great goal from Edgar Salinas once more. A lovely finish from the lone striker. As the half-time whistle blows, that is 2-0 to Aston Villa, who look very much like they do deserve to be in this competition. We have a substitution as Ollie Watkins leaves the pitch for Jude Malvado, who will be playing on the left wing. Clearance from Monaco only gets as far as the Aston Villa midfield. Salinas picks the ball up, chips it over. Malvado with the volley, great save. Aston Villa now pressing the advantage. Jude Malvado with a bit of skill. Oh, lovely roulette. He's in on goal, and that's another great save. Denying Jude Malvado a wonder goal. Malvado pressing the ball with everything he has. That's a clearance, but it's not great. It's back in the ball to Malvado with a lovely left-footed strike. That finish was incredible. As that goal from Jude Malvado seals the game. And that is an Aston Villa win on their return to Europe.
A great performance from your team, Unai. Wonderful result. How do you feel about the performance in your first Champions League game with Aston Villa? Good evening, Fabrizio. It was a great performance, and as usual, Selena showed what he's capable of. But Jude Malvado really surprised me tonight playing in the left wing position. He had a great game coming off the bench, so I have a lot to think about going forward. <laughs> Yo, Jude, what a goal, man. What a game. We both scored on our UCL debut. I think you know what that means. We need to celebrate. Okay, let's do it. And don't worry, bro. There will be plenty of nights just like this while I'm here to get the best out of you. What a performance after a wonderful performance from Aston Villa last night. Star boy Edgar Salinas was once again pictured out on the town celebrating his club's victory. He was pictured in the early hours of the morning being carried out of a nightclub and looked to be in quite a drunken state. It seems like victory got to the young star's head. How the hell do they always know where I am? This feels like a setup, man. I think someone is feeding the press this information. Didn't you say it was Watkins who found me in the dumpster after the last game of the season? I bet it's him. He hasn't exactly hidden his feelings about me, has he? You saw his outburst in the locker room? He's clearly jealous that I'm the main striker. I mean, yeah, he doesn't seem happy with you, but I don't know. I mean, it could be him, but it seems like a bit of a reach, bro. It's a cold November in Copenhagen as we are here once again with European football for you. We have FC Copenhagen taking on Aston Villa. Aston Villa only need one win, three points to secure their place in the round of 16. Copenhagen pressing the ball early on as they have home advantage, the ball crossed. And that's a lovely finish at the far post. What a goal. FC Copenhagen take the lead. Malvado carries the ball into the box. What does he have? He does not have enough. Great save from the Copenhagen keeper. Aston Villa now searching desperately for this equaliser. Edgar Salinas gets the ball, chips it, and puts it over the bar. Salinas plays a lovely ball into Jude Malvado, who's through on goal, and he fails to put it round the keeper. Great save again. Once more, Villa on the attack, and it is Jude Malvado once more, and another great save. Can you do something? No, it's a double save. He knows he should be doing better. And it seems Unai Emery has had enough and is making a substitution, bringing Ollie Watkins on for Jude Malvado. Leon Bailey with the Aston Villa corner. What can he do with this? Pulls it to the edge of the box. It's into Edgar Salinas. Oh, it's just over the bar. The RB now plays it into Ollie Watkins, who is through on goal. What can he do? Come on, man. It's a team game. We need this win. Fuck off. Villa lacking chemistry up front now with Edgar Salinas looking to do something on his own. Lovely turn. And finally, that's a great finish from Salinas who finds the equaliser. But is it too late to find the winner and gain the three points that Aston Villa need? The ref blows the whistle and Aston Villa fail to secure qualification. They have one game left and they need to win. Well done, boys. You really dug in and got us that point. We need to win from the last game, and I want to stick with the two-striker formation. Make sure we get the goals we need to pick up all three points. Oh, great. Guess that's me warming the bench in the next game. Don't worry, bro. I got you. I will get us through. Today, we are at a monument of European history, the San Siro, as AC Milan take on Aston Villa. Aston Villa, who need a win to qualify for the next round, Line up in a 4-4-2 with Watkins and Salinas up front. Salinas with the ball. Ollie Watkins makes a great run. Salinas sees him. He plays it into Watkins. Watkins with a chip that goes over the bar. Salinas now has all the space in the world. Sees Watkins. Plays him through. He's one-on-one. -on -one, and that was a horrific miss from Watkins. He should have scored. AC Milan now looking to pile on some pressure of their own as the ball is played into the out. Lovely flick, and that's a great save. Corner for AC Milan. Can they convert? It's not very well defended, but it's put over the bar. And that will be half time. Nil nil. Neither team able to break the deadlock. This isn't working, lads. I'm going to change the formation. I want to go to the 4 3 3. Jude, you're coming on for Watkins. I want to see some energy from you down that left wing. What the hell? Why am I coming off? Edgar's been just as bad as me out there, and at least I'm not in the press every week, bland drunk and being found in dumpsters. Calm yourself down and go take a bath, son. 
<laughs> Yo, Oli, you want me to get you a rubber ducky too? Edgar, settle down. Get your head in the game. We're relying on you out there. And the substitution is happening at half time. Oli Watkins coming off for Jude Malvado, who looks to be heading over to the left wing as Aston Villa changed to a 4 3 3. Salinas now with the ball, plays it wide to Malvado, who finds the 1 2. Edgar Salinas is now through on goal. What can he do with this? And yes, he puts it away and he seems to be dancing like a duck in celebration. Aston Villa are not letting up. They have found another gear. Malvado now with the ball, plays it back to Salinas. Salinas in the box, and that's another great finish. And the same strange celebration from Edgar Salinas. What a goal! Bailey plays Edgar Salinas through, he's on a hat-trick, can he finish it? What a strike from 20 yards as Edgar Salinas dances like a duck to celebrate his hat-trick. As the ref blows the final whistle and Edgar Salinas has sent Aston Villa through to the knockout stages of the European Champions League. Let's go bro, we're going to the knockouts. You know what this means, party time! <laughs> Let's go! Hey, yo, Ducky, you want to come too? Fuck off, Salinas. What is going on here? In the latest Salinas scandal, the young Villa starlet was found unconscious yet again after a celebration night out. And this time he was found with a rubber duck hanging out of the zip on his trousers. I have no idea what he was getting up to, but he seems to be spiraling more and more. Will this behavior affect his form? Will he be able to keep himself together for their round of 16 tie in February against Real Madrid? I am losing patience with these antics, Edgar. Whether you're the star player or a younger crew who is on the bench, there is a standard that is expected of you at this club, and this behavior is not acceptable. It's a new year and a new round of knockout football in the Champions League. We're at Villa Park, where Aston Villa will take on Real Madrid in the first leg of the round of 16. The RB plays it into Salinas. Salinas, what can he do? He plays it into Watkins, and it's a great save. Watkins now with the ball, plays it into Salinas. Will Salinas be able to finish? No, the keeper saves it. Villa piling on the pressure. Can they get this goal? Edgar Salinas with the ball, plays it to Watkins with a great header that hits the bar. Bailey now plays it into Watkins, who chips it over to Edgar Salinas. Salinas with a great finish. That is the first goal of the game, and Aston Villa take the advantage with a great goal from Edgar Salinas. Bellingham now with the ball, carries it forward, what can he do with it, plays it into Vinicius, and that's a great save from Martinez. Real Madrid hunting for that equaliser as the ball's played in, Vinicius Jr's free in the box, and he blazes it high and wide. Madrid not letting up now, they are putting all the pressure on, Bellingham tries a long shot and fails miserably. Vinicius Jr, great turn, chips the ball into the box, great clearance, which makes it as far as the RB, who loses the ball, and the shot goes straight over the bar. Rodrigo plays the ball into Vinicius Jr, surely Madrid will get a goal at some point, and that's the goal! Vinicius Jr has found the equaliser in the final minute of the game, and the game ends as a draw, as Aston Villa will have to go to Madrid and find a way to win if they want to reach the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Hello again, Mr. Salinas. Nice to see you. And you, Mr. Ancelotti. I'm looking forward to the second leg. It should be an entertaining tie, but that's not why we are meeting. I still want to find a way to sign you. Have you reconsidered your position? How much will it take to change your mind? I really do appreciate the interest. It's very flattering. But as I told you before, playing with Jude is worth more than any money or luxury you can offer me. So my decision remains the same. We are live from the Bernabeu for this second leg between Real Madrid and Aston Villa. The first leg finished one goal apiece, so it's all to play for in this second leg tie. Real Madrid looking to start strong, that's a great tackle, but no, Vinicius Jr wins the ball back, he's through on goal, and that is the opening goal for Real Madrid, who take the advantage in this tie. Vinicius plays the ball through as Real Madrid look to double their lead, Rodrigo plays the ball across, and that is a fantastic scissor kick from Drew Bellingham, what a goal from the young Englishman. 
And as the half-time whistle blows, Aston Villa know they have a mountain to climb in the second half. Second half kicks off and it is all Real Madrid once more as Rodrigo takes the ball into the box and puts it away. That's 3-0 and surely this tie is out of sight for Aston Villa now. It will take a miracle to get them back in it. Aston Villa now on the attack looking to get something to bring them into this game. Watkins, he takes the shot but Edgar Salinas was wide open on the far post. He should have passed. Once again, Villa pressing forward. Can they get a goal? Oli Watkins once more takes the ball into the box. Edgar Salinas is wide open. And Oli Watkins runs the ball into trouble again. And the final whistle does blow. Real Madrid win 4-1 on aggregate, advancing them to the quarterfinals, while Aston Villa exit the competition. Oli, what the hell, man? You should have passed it. I was wide open. Fuck this. I'm done with you and your self-entitled bullshit. I'm done playing with you. As long as you're at this club, I can't play here anymore. Can you believe this guy? What the hell is his problem? I mean, I kind of get where he's coming from, bro. If you were in that situation, you would have taken the shot too. Bro, what do you mean? I've always had your back. I've always helped you. Why are you taking his side? Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, bro. It's okay, man. I'm just pissed off with Watkins. I just need to blow off some steam. I'll see you in training tomorrow. Good morning, lads. I'm lucky on... Wait, who's missing? Salinas. Where's Salinas? Has anyone seen Salinas? I haven't seen him since he left after the match last night, boss. Do you want me to call him? No, don't worry. You'll have to go back to training. I'll go and figure this out. Salinas, where the hell were you this morning? You were two hours late for training. Oh, I'm sorry, boss. I was, I was just feeling sick. I think I might have caught a virus or something. A virus, eh? That's funny, because I just received a text message with these pictures. Go on, tell me that isn't you unconscious on the strip club floor in the early hours of this morning. This is unacceptable. You'll be fined two weeks of wages, and if anything like this ever happens again, I promise you, son, you'll be leaving the club with immediate effect. I'm so sorry, boss. I promise it won't happen again. He is gone. After a well-publicized falling out uh, with fellow striker Edgar Salinas, Oli Watkins has left Aston Villa to join Atletico Madrid after handing in a transfer request. I can't lie. I'm glad he's gone. The boss put me on a final warning at the end of the season when I was there for training. And frankly, it's Sal Watkins' fault. What do you mean? Why was it his fault? Well, after the Madrid loss, I went out to a few nightclubs to get my mind off things, and that's why I ended up late for training. I tried to tell the boss I just wasn't feeling well, but Watkins sent some pictures of me passed out on a strip club floor. I, I just know it was him. Nobody else would stoop this low. He's a rat. Yeah, I think you're probably right, but he's gone now. So let's get our heads down and focus on this season. The final group stage game of the 25-26 Champions League as Aston Villa take on Atletico Madrid. I'm ready. I'm going to take this prick out of the UCL. Jordi Tillemans with the corner. He pulls it back outside of the box to Salinas, who hits it. And that is a wonderful strike. Edgar Salinas puts the ball away, doing that duck celebration once more. After a quiet first half, it's 1-0 to Aston Villa. And they hold this lead. Second half kicks off now as Aston Villa press once more. Edgar Salinas cleared in the box. He puts the ball in the bottom corner. What a great finish from Salinas, who once again is celebrating like a ball. Villa now pressing the advantage once more. The ball chipped into Salinas. Hits it on the volley and what a take. That was a sensational goal. 3-0 to Villa and it looks like they're through to the next round. As the ref blows his whistle, Edgar Salinas collects the match ball. What a fantastic performance from Edgar Salinas. Hey, did you like that celebration, Ducky? Enjoy the Europa League and stay out of my way. By the way, I know it was you sending the pictures to the press and to Emery, but the jokes is on you. I'm clean and sober. You got nothing. What the hell are you talking about? I might think you're a self-entitled prick, but I am no rat. <laughs> That's bullshit. I'm proud of you, son. You seem to have completely turned yourself around after our last conversation. No more trouble, no more drinking, and your form has been sensational. 
And now that you helped us advance in this tough group, I want to give you the captain's armband for the rest of the season. Oh my god, are you serious? Thank you so much, boss. I mean it. I'm glad I'm clean and sober, and I'm glad I'm making you proud. I'm proud of you. If we keep up this form, I don't see any reason we can't win the Champions League. It's the semi-final second leg of the Champions League, with Manchester United travel to Villa Park after a one-all draw in the first leg. Which of these English teams will have what it takes to make it to the Champions League final? Aston Villa now with the ball played in, Edgar Salinas free in the box, and that's a brilliant goal. Edgar Salinas puts Aston Villa in front, 2-1 on aggregate. Villa have the advantage. Edgar Salinas with the ball, he sees the run of Malvado, plays it through the middle, Malvado, free on goal, Malvado, what a great finish, Aston Villa, 2-0 up on the night, 3-1 on aggregate, they're heading to the final. Villa not looking to rest on their laurels as Salinas grabs the ball, chips it over to Malvado, who puts the ball away in great fashion, Jude Malvado with a fantastic finish to make it 3-0, and the referee blows the whistle, ending Man United's misery as Aston Villa advance to the Champions League final, where they will face Real Madrid for the European Champions League title. I can't believe it, we're going to the Champions League final, bro! Everything is falling into place. Watkins is gone, I'm clean, and we're both the first names on the team sheet. Life is just good. So good, bro! We need to go out and celebrate! <laughs> nah, I can't, man. We gotta stay focused on this final. Plus, that life is behind me now. David versus Goliath. Aston Villa take on Real Madrid in the Champions League final. With us today is Oli Watkins to give some thoughts on his former team's chances. Oli, do you think your former teammate Edgar Salinas' form will be enough to get Villa over the line in this final? There is no way. Real Madrid are far too good and Jude Movaldo is lucky he has Edgar as a friend or he will struggle to even make the first team. And honestly, even Salinas isn't all that he's hyped up to be. He turns up late for training, he drinks himself unconscious every week, and the guy sleeps in dumpsters and on strip club floors. He's talented, sure, but at this level, that isn't enough, and he will soon be exposed for what he is. Wow, very strong words from Watkins. We do, however, have Edgar Salinas here for a few words too. Edgar, how do you respond to Olia Watkins' criticism of you? Look, Fabrizio, he's just jealous that I took his place at Villa. He's out here selling pictures of me to the media every time I let loose and enjoy myself instead of improving himself as a player. And quite frankly, the pictures all look far worse than they actually were. But even so, that is all behind me. I don't party anymore. I don't drink anymore. I am a professional and I am here to win the Champions League. It is the Champions League final. We are here at Wembley Stadium as Real Madrid take on Aston Villa. Madrid are the betting favourites, but Aston Villa have caused more than a few upsets along the way. Can they cause one more upset and win that Champions League trophy? Rodrigo carries the ball forward for Real Madrid. Vinicius Jr. through in the box one-on-one -on -one and he puts the ball away. An early lead for Real Madrid. Bellingham plays it to Vinicius. It's a one-two as Bellingham runs. He's one on one with the goalie and it's another goal. Real Madrid take a 2-0 lead. And this game could be over very quickly. Aston Villa are not done yet though as Malvado plays the ball in. The RB with a great strike. And that's 2-1. Aston Villa are back in this game. The half-time whistle sounds and what an entertaining first half it's been. Two goals for Madrid, one goal for Aston Villa, and all is to play for in the second half. Salinas now with the ball, plays it into Malvado. Malvado with a great strike, he levels this game. This final is neck and neck once more. Great clearance from Alava from the Madrid box, but no, it's won back by Telemans. Plays it into Malvado, Malvado, Salinas! Edgar Salinas on the volley, gives Aston Villa the lead. In the 89th minute, surely Aston Villa can hold on to this lead and win the Champions League. And yes, the referee has blown his whistle. Aston Villa are the European champions. Thanks to that last minute winner from Edgar Salinas. What a performance. What an incredible story. 
Aston Villa for the first time in 44 years lift the Champions League trophy as they are now two-time champions of Europe. Yo, Edgar, what a goal. What a game. We both scored in the UCL final. I think you know what this means. We need to celebrate. <laughs> All right, bro. Fuck it. For old time's sake, let's just do it. Just don't let me drink too much, okay? I need you to have my back, bro. What is he doing? Exclusive images obtained by us have come to light following the Champions League final celebrations, featuring what seems to be Edgar Salinas urinating into the Champions League trophy at an Aston Villa victory party. Rumours are circulating that this is the final straw for Aston Villa and that Unai Emery and the Villa board have had enough of Salinas' antics and will look to sell him as soon as possible. I knew the little prick couldn't restrain himself for long. Uh, so the big question is, how will Unai Emery deal with this situation and with the poor reputation that Edgar Salinas is bringing to his club? Have you seen this? The entire club's reputation is being dragged through the mud because of you. After all I've done for you, after making you the captain of this club, this is how you repay me? This is how you repay the fans? This is how you repay the club who gave you an opportunity to live your dream? I I don't know what happened, boss. All year, I've avoided situations like this. Can you please, can you just give me another chance? I promise I will never let you down again. You've already let me down. I believe in second chances. I don't believe in third chances. Do I look like a Muppet to you? I can't believe it. Emery told me that he's transfer to me. I am gone from this club. What the hell happened last night? I thought you were gonna have my back and make sure nothing like this ever happened again. Bro, I'm so sorry. I tried. I really did, but you just disappeared with the trophy and then... Well, it happened. I'm so, so sorry, bro. I just don't get it. It was a team party. It was closed to the press and only team members, staff, and families were there. How the hell did Watkins get them pictures, man? I have no <laughs> idea, bro, but he has definitely gone too far this time. I gotta take this. It's my agent. Yo, what's up? I can't really talk right now. Those pictures were a gold mine, the most expensive yet. Is there any chance that you took a video of him pissing in the trophy as well? We would be talking six figures easily if you have it. Yeah, I have the video. I'll call you later. Everything alright, bro? Yeah, he just wanted to congratulate me. Listen, don't worry. Nothing Watkins can do will break our friendship. I will get us through this. I am always here to get the best out of you. Hello, Mr. Salinas. It's nice to see you again. Likewise, it's a pleasure. What is it that you wanted to ask about this time around? Well, it is very obvious. I have been an admirer of you since you began your football journey. I still firmly believe that you would be the best addition possible to our team. And I would like to give you this pen and paper and you write the number and we'll give it to you. I want you at this club and I will sign you at any cost. Wow, really? I didn't think a club was willing to pay anything to get me to play for them. However, my mind is still set. I really don't care about the money or the fame that can come with playing for the greatest club in the world. I just want to play with my best friend, Jude. So I want to say thank you for the glorious offer, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to say no. Ah, I see. Jude is the man that can get you here. Well, if that's what it takes, Mr. Salinas, I'm willing to not only bring you, but I will buy Jude as well, so both of you can shine with the greatest club in the world. How does that sound? Really? Oh, Jude isn't gonna believe- I mean, <clears throat> if you can make it happen, then you have my signature. Consider it done. Welcome to Los Blancos, Mr. Salinas. I know if we work together, we can make you the best player in the world. Welcome everybody to the opening day of the La Liga season. Real Madrid will be taking on Girona and today we get to see both new signings, Edgar Salinas and Jude Malvado, playing for Real Madrid. Edgar Salinas will be starting up top while Malvado starts on the bench. How will this debut go for Edgar Salinas? Bellingham plays the ball to Salinas, who plays it back. Bellingham carries the ball. Salinas with a run. Bellingham sees it. Edgar Salinas puts the ball in the net. Great finish from Edgar Salinas. Great goal. And he's off the mark for Real Madrid. Madrid not letting up as they press once again. The ball whipped in. Edgar Salinas with the header. 
fantastic finish, and Gasolinas doubles the tally, that's 2-0 to Real Madrid. The ref blows the half-time whistle and Edgar Salinas has scored two goals, though there's still no sign of Jude Malvado. Salinas now carries the ball, he's on a hat-trick and he knows it. Lovely bit of skill, he turns again, what a roulette! Edgar Salinas puts back, will he finish it? Yes he does! That's 3-0, that's a hat-trick! Edgar Salinas with the dream debut in Madrid. As the ref blows the whistle and Edgar Salinas collects his match ball, what a brilliant performance. However, it's sad that we did not get to see his teammate Jude Malvado make an appearance. The new Galactico, new signing Edgar Salinas has just had one of the greatest debuts I have ever seen. A hat-trick for the biggest club in the world is nothing to take lightly. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Salinas, we have a couple questions for you. Go, go ahead, I'm all ears. Well, of course, your performance. How do you feel making a statement like that? But also, how do you feel about your teammate Jude, who sat on the bench? Well, first of all, I am glad that everyone was and is excited for me to be here at the club, especially after my performance. I'm ready to give it my all for Real Madrid and become the best player I can be. As for Jude, he is an amazing player, one of the best I've seen. Him being on the bench means absolutely nothing. Soon, he'll be in the starting 11 as my second striker. He'll get a chance to show what he's made of very soon. Ah! This guy is so patronizing! He always thinks I need him to prove himself. Soon enough, he'll learn that I can do this all on my own. Yes? What's up? Hello, Jude. The pictures you have been sending us have been a cold mine. We are very curious when you will have more available. Oh, trust me. You won't have to wait long. Edgar is in for a party. Trust me. Some things never change. After a brilliant debut last night, it seems like Edgar's bad habits have followed him to Madrid. Edgar was pictured partying all night long with some of his teammates. However, some rare good news, as even though it seems like he had plenty to drink, nothing eventful took place, unlike some of his other nights in the past. Well, that's all for today. I'm Fabrizio, and you need to subscribe. Seriously, subscribe now. What? How? I can't believe this. Since I've started my career at Villa, Oli Watkins has been leaking stories about me to the press. And he even carried it on after he left Villa to join Atletico? And now that I've moved, of course, he even has people following me in Spain. When would this guy leave me alone? I'm sorry, man. I know it can't be easy to be going through what you are going through. I know how upset this stuff makes you, but you can't let it stop you from enjoying your life. Watkins will get bored. Just ignore it. Yeah, maybe you're right. I'll try to do my best. Thank you, Jude. You always say the right thing. It is the Madrid derby, but not only that, it's the first time the fierce rivals Edgar Salinas and Oli Watkins will face each other in La Liga. Jude Malvado once again is on the bench, so this will be down to Edgar Salinas. Who will come out on top, Edgar Salinas or Oli Watkins? Lorente passes the ball into the Paul, who passes it out wide. Oli Watkins now on the ball and a great finish. Oli Watkins takes the early lead for Atletico Madrid. That's 1 0. Yo, Ducky, don't think I forgot what you did to me. What you're still doing to me. Are you really that obsessed with me? Are you still blaming me for this? You're so fucking delusional, man. One goal. <laughs> Is that all you got? Watch what happens now. Madrid looking to play out from the back, but Vinicius Jr. presses and wins the ball. Edgar Salinas on the ball. Great finish. Edgar Salinas pulls this one level. He is not willing to let Atletico Madrid or Ali Watkins have the advantage. That is half time and the score is 1-1. Will we see any changes at half time? Perhaps Jude Malvado may make an appearance. One thing's for sure, something is needed to break this deadlock. Bellingham carries the ball forward, we did not get any half time substitutions. Edgar Salinas on the ball, he's through on goal and that's an incredible finish across the goalkeeper and there is that duck celebration we've become accustomed to. Madrid not happy with a 1-0 lead as the ball is played to Salinas once more. Lovely bit of dribbling, a great turn and he crosses it and that's a great header. A goal from Federico Valverde makes this 3-1 and Real Madrid are well and truly in the lead. 
Madrid not letting up, and they are looking for the fourth. Edgar Salinas with a lovely bit of skill once more, and another cross, and this time it finds Bellingham, who finishes with a fantastic volley. Great goal, and that's 4-1 to Real Madrid. As the referee blows his whistle, the match comes to an end. It is victory and all the spoils for Edgar Salinas and Real Madrid. However, there is still no appearance from Jude Malvado, who it appears is not in great favour at Real Madrid. Hey Edgar, ridiculous game out there. You showed him who's boss. You got Ducky on a leash. Hell yeah, I did. This calls for a celebration, my friend. Get your things. We are partying hard tonight. Edgar Salinas assaulted last night after the 4-1 hammering of Atletico. Edgar Salinas was forcefully removed from a popular Madrid nightclub by a number of bouncers who described him as extremely intoxicated. And ladies and gents, we have an exclusive as we have Edgar Salinas here, and he wants to make a statement. Firstly, I want to apologize to anyone I have upset or offended with my actions. But I am a young man, and we had just annihilated our local rivals in La Liga. I don't think there's anything wrong with me celebrating the facts. What is wrong, however, is the way I am being treated by a former teammate of mine. It is no coincidence that every time I go out and enjoy myself, it becomes a new story. Ollie Watkins, my former Villa teammate, has been leaking pictures and videos of me to the press for almost four years now. I tried to keep this between us, but he refuses to admit it's him. But know this, Ollie, I know it's you. I've got this guy right where I want him. Hello, boss. I was caught over here. Is everything okay? Yes, actually. Things are amazing. I want to congratulate you. You've had an amazing debut season, helping us win the league. And with Alaba retiring in the summer, we are looking for a new captain. I want you to take that role, starting tonight. I want you to captain our team to victory in the UCL final against PSG. If you can win us that trophy, I don't see anything stopping you from becoming the world's best player and winning the Ballon d'Or. I know it's a lot of pressure, but you can handle it. You're the best player in the world. It's an honor to be the captain of Real Madrid. I won't let you down, boss. Holy shit, Edgar! You're the new captain! While I haven't even started the game? I guess one of us is really progressing these days. Don't worry, bro. I know it's been a while, but your time will come. I'm here for you, and I will help you get there. I don't need your help to get there. If anyone is going to need help, it's you, my friend. Don't worry, I already have it all planned out. The Champions League final is upon us, and it's Paris Saint-Germain taking on. Real Madrid. Edgar Salinas set to start in yet another Champions League final here at Wembley. And rumours are circulating that either he or Mbappe will win the Ballon d'Or should they win the Champions League tonight. Great pressure from Real Madrid who steal the ball back in the midfield. A wonderful ball into Salinas. What can he do with it? Edgar Salinas, lovely turn. Another step and that's a great finish. Edgar Salinas puts the ball in the net. 1-0 Madrid who are on course for victory. Dembele now with a corner for PSG. He pulls it back outside the box, finds Kylian Mbappe. The ball still with Mbappe. What a finish! Kylian Mbappe with an incredible long shot, and that levels the score. A tough, tough match so far as the ref blows the whistle for half time. Will we see either team take the initiative in the second half? Mbappe on the ball as PSG come out all guns blazing in the second half. Kylian Mbappe still on the ball. What a run! Mbappe! What a goal! Kylian Mbappe with one of the best solo goals in recent history. Mbappe on the ball again. He plays it into Colo Muane. Colo Muane sees the run of Mbappe. Mbappe's clean through on goal. Mbappe! What a finish! That's the hat trick for Kylian Mbappe. In the 89th minute, he has certainly wrapped this game up. That is 3-1 to PSG, and surely that will be the Champions League and the Ballon d'Or for PSG and Kylian Mbappe. The ref blows the whistle, and yes, PSG have won the Champions League.
a great second half from Kylian Mbappe secures the win and he surely will move on to claim the Ballon d'Or as he lifts the Champions League trophy up and celebrates his incredible performance and becoming European champions. And the winner is Kylian Mbappe, unlucky as Edgar Salinas finishes in second place. Surely with his recent form though, the young Mexican will win his award soon. Wow, I never really saw myself as the best player in the world, but after coming so close, I think it's possible. Of course it is, you've always wanted to be the best player anywhere you go. I can't think of any reason that will change. <laughs> of course he wants to be the best in the world. He's never happy with what he's got. He always wants more. Well, not if I have anything to do with it. It's the start of a new season and what a start it is. Atletico Madrid take on Real Madrid today in the Spanish Super Cup and they will both play again in four days time for the opening of La Liga. Two Madrid derbies for the first two games of the season. But who will win the Super Cup derby today? Atletico start the game nice and positive early on. Oli Watkins with the ball, but he puts it over the bar. Griezmann with the ball, he plays it over the top to Watkins, who's looking for that opening goal. Oli Watkins, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, but it's a great save from Courtois. Watkins should have done better in that position. Madrid now looking to get themselves into this game and assert themselves. The ball's into Salinas, lovely chip, and that's a great finish from Bellingham, who puts it straight into the top corner on the volley. What a finish. The referee blows the half-time whistle and the game is 1-0 to Real Madrid. A small lead against the run of play, but will Atletico be able to come out and assert themselves in the second half? Madrid playing the ball, they are looking to carry on as they finish the first half. Salinas on the ball, finished! What a goal! Edgar Salinas buries the ball in the back of the net. Jan Oblak had no chance. Salinas now on the ball as he's taken down outside the box, but Bellingham wins the ball, advantage has been played, Edgar Salinas with a brilliant goal, the ball's in off the underside of the bar, and that's 3-0 to Madrid, surely that goal will be the winner. And the ref blows the whistle as Real Madrid win this game, three goals to nil. Hey Ducky, leave me alone you maniac. It doesn't matter what you do to me. I will always be the better player. You know what? I'm not even having this conversation with you anymore, yeah? You need help, bro. Serious help. And in the season opener for the Spanish season, it will be Edgar Salinas who lifts that Spanish Super Cup and opens the season for Real Madrid in winning style. You guessed it, the Madrid star boy is drunk again. This time Edgar Salinas was videoed in a drunken rant about his former teammate, Oli Watkins. What a rat. Do you know why we call Hawkins Ducky? Because he takes a bath with a rubber ducky. <laughs> but seriously, this guy has ruined my whole life. I hate him. Did I tell you he's a rat? Unfortunately, the image isn't the best quality, but our audio analysts have confirmed that it is indeed Mr. Salinas' voice in the video. What is wrong with Watkins, man? I never did anything to him, and he keeps snitching on me. This is unfair. I've done nothing wrong. I'm just trying to play football and live my dreams with my best friend. What the fuck is wrong with him? Why can't he just leave me alone? Wild from Edgar. Ancelotti, if you are listening, I don't know how you feel, but surely it is time for the club to step in and take control of this ongoing situation with young Edgar Salinas. Hmm. Step in and take I must admit, this, this kid does have me worried. He's Edgar. getting out of control. Four days after the Spanish Super Cup opener between Atletico and Real Madrid, we are back at the Santiago Bernabeu to see yet another Madrid derby. Edgar Salinas starting up front, Oli Watkins on the opposition, and Jude Malvado still warming the bench for Real Madrid. Atletico starting this game like they did the last, looking very positive. Can they be a bit more clinical today? Ball played in, Watkins, and that's a finish from Watkins. He puts the ball in the back of the net, and that is 1-0 Atletico. 
Watkins plays the ball out wide, makes a run, receives the ball back, he sees the run of the winger. What a ball over the top, and that's a fantastic goal for Atletico Madrid to take them two goals in front. The first half comes to an end, and it's a very different story to the first half of the Spanish Super Bowl. Real Madrid starting positively in this second half, but that's a horrendous tackle on Salinas, and that's a free kick to Madrid on the edge of the box. Salinas stands over the ball, he runs up for his free kick. Salinas, and that's a brilliant save from Oblak. Salinas was so close to pulling the goal back. The clearance only gets as far as Rodrigo who plays it into Bellingham, into Salinas now. Salinas one on one, and Salinas' shot is saved once more. Ancelotti has seen enough. He is taking Salinas off, and on comes Jude Malvado for his first Los Blancos appearance. Madrid still fighting to try and get something from this game. Bellingham sees the run of Malvado. Malvado's in the box. Jude Malvado with a delicious chip. Flies into the back of the net, and that's one goal back for Madrid. Will Madrid be able to get themselves back into this game? And the answer is no, the ref has blown the whistle, and that is a victory for Atletico. Hey Oli, you got lucky this time around, but I'm done now. You've gone too far. I can't even live my life without you posting all over the media. Don't even say it, I am done with this shit now, yeah? You want to know the truth? I'm going to tell everyone exactly what's going on. What a derby. Salinas and Madrid were thoroughly beaten, although a late cameo from Jude did nearly allow them to get back into the game. Here we have derby winner Ollie Watkins. How do you rate your team's performance today? I would love for this day to be all about my team's big achievement in this game, but unfortunately it's overshadowed by a bigger issue. You all have heard the slander and lies Salinas has been telling you about me, and I'm here to set the record straight. I have never in my life leaked a picture, video or anything to the press, especially of my teammates, but I know exactly who has been leaking these stories about Salinas. Wow, the story continues between Watkins and Salinas. How will Salinas take this statement? Is this guy kidding? He's a fucking liar! We know it's him! He's not getting away with this! Of course it's him! Who else would it be? So we all know what's going on and over the next few months everything I had planned for started to come to life. Edgar's obsession with Watkins grew more and more and as it did his form began to fall. So right now you're probably wondering why would I do this to my best friend? A person I have known for my entire life. My brother. It might be hard for you to imagine what it's like to always be the sidekick, always second best, never the one in the limelight, the one no one cares about, but maybe that's because you're just like Edgar, self-centered and full of your own self-importance, and if you don't really get why I'm doing this, then you are clearly as much of the problem as Starboy Salinas. Hey boss, is everything okay? Zip it and listen. I'm worried about you, Edgar. The drinking, the partying, the obsession with Ollie Watkins. It's all affecting your performances and you haven't been playing well for months now. Unfortunately, the team comes first and I won't be starting you in this Champions League final. It's sad to see that it's come to this, Edgar, and I really hope you take this as a chance to turn things around and get back to working your way to becoming the best player in the world. It's the Champions League final and we are in Manchester, England for Real Madrid vs Inter Milan. Things have changed in Madrid in recent months as Jude Malvado has become the preferred striker while Edgar Salinas is out of favour with the management. Inter on the ball early on looking to get an early opener and that is Lataro and that's a great save from Courtois. Madrid now asserting themselves with Malvado, he pulls the ball back, receives it once more, great play, and that's a poor finish from Valverde. Inter looking to break this deadlock, what can they do? Brilliant ball down the wing, the ball is played into the box, and a brilliant finish. Toran puts the ball in the back of the net, and that is 1-0 to Inter Milan. Real Madrid are looking to reply instantly to that opening goal from Milan. The ball into Vinicius Jr. He's in the box, pulls it back to Malvado, across, Valverde puts the ball in the back of the net. That's one all. Madrid cancel out into Milan's lead. An enthralling first half comes to an end with the score one goal apiece. 
who will have the keys to unlock this tie in the second half. Barella plays the ball into Turam. Turam is one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. He's through on goal. What will happen? Turam puts the ball in the back of the net. A fantastic goal. And Inter Milan take the lead once more. Madrid pressing Milan now at the back. And Vinicius Jr. drops the ball. Malvado onto Bellingham. And Bellingham puts the ball in the net. Real Madrid have leveled this game again with a brilliant goal from Drew Bellingham. Valverde with the corner for Madrid, he whips it in, but it's clear that the near post, only as far as Malvado, Drew Malvado chips the ball over, and Fela Mendy with a lucky volley in off the keeper. Inter are not looking to allow themselves to lose this tie, Lataro Martinez plays it in, and it's back over again to Lataro, Lataro Martinez with a brilliant finish, three goals each, what a final so far. Malvado plays to Bellingham, Bellingham into Vinicius, it's over Malvado, and it's over the bar. Inter Milan now pressing to extend their lead, an early cross, and it's cleared by Madrid, only as far as Martinez, and Martinez puts it over, a lucky escape for Madrid. Another corner to Madrid, Federico Valverde whips it outside of the box, into Malvado, Malvado from 25 yards, puts the ball in the top corner. He scored a fourth in the 90th minute, and surely that wins the game for Madrid. Man, I feel selfish. Jude just made his mark, and I'm not even 100% happy. He is my best friend, and he deserves this. But I just can't get why Oli is still trying to ruin my career. In what has been the most incredible final in recent history, Federico Valverde walks up to the stage and lift that Champions League trophy as Real Madrid are once again crowned champions of Europe. And it's all thanks to Jude Malvado's performance. It's hard to see how Edgar Salinas will find his way back into this team after that performance from Jude Malvado. He has surely done enough to ensure he is the first choice striker for Real Madrid going forward. Hey Jude. Congrats, man. I'm sorry if I don't seem happy for you. I truly am. It's just what I'm going through is difficult. Come on, man. It's not all bad. We are European champions. Let's go party and you'll forget about Oli Watkins. No, man. You go and enjoy yourself. You deserve it. But I don't feel up to it right now. Welcome to the European Super Cup Final between Real Madrid and AS Monaco. Champions League winners Madrid are headed up by emerging star Jude Malvado, with Edgar Salinas once again on the bench. Vinicius Jr. plays the ball into Malvado. Vin Vinicius Jr. looks for the run of Malvado. Great ball over and a great finish from Malvado. That's 1-0 Real Madrid in this UEFA Super Cup game. Madrid not looking to ease up as Bellingham has the ball for Madrid. Brilliant ball over the top into Rodrigo. Rodrigo plays the ball across Malvado with a lovely finish into the bottom corner. Jude Malvado makes it 2-0. Malvado now with the ball once more. What does he have in his pocket? Lovely step there. He takes it past the defender into Bellingham and a great finish. That's 3-0 and surely that's the game. The referee blows the final whistle and Real Madrid beat Monaco in the UEFA Super Cup. Another great performance from Jude Malvado will likely mean that Edgar Salinas' stay on the bench will continue. As Real Madrid take to the stage and Federico Valverde lifts the UEFA Super Cup as the Champions League heroes beat the winners of the Europa League. No, Edgar, no problem. Jude has looked to become a nailed on starter for Real Madrid. In tonight's Super Cup final, Jude has single handedly won them the trophy. Questions are yet to be asked if Edgar will ever play for Madrid again and if Jude can carry the burden of replacing a one of a kind player like Edgar. Good work out there, Jude. By any chance, have you seen or heard from Edgar today? I'm gonna be honest, boss. You know Edgar, he could be anywhere in any state. No worries, get back to training. It's a big game coming up. I'll go and sort this Salinas mess out. Thank you for joining me, Mr. Salinas. I don't know where you were or where you have been, and I don't want to hear any excuses. 
One more issue with you, one more disappearance from you. I will terminate and release you from the club. So, son, get your shit together. You're a Real Madrid player. Do better. Welcome to the second leg of this Champions League semi-final between Chelsea and Real Madrid. We're at Stamford Bridge today, where Real Madrid and Chelsea are both looking to book a place in the Champions League final. And it's all square after a 1-1 draw in the first leg. Du Malvado starts up top once again for Madrid with Salinas on the bench. Will he be enough to book Real Madrid's place in the Champions League final? It's over for me here. There's no coming back from this. I had it all in my hands, and Watkins took it all away. Valverde with a corner for Real Madrid. He pulls it back outside of the box, straight to Malvado. Jude Malvado with a wonder strike to open the scoring. 1-0 to Real Madrid on the night, 2-1 on aggregate. Bellingham now plays the ball into Vinicius, who plays it to Valverde. Valverde over to Rodrigo. Rodrigo chips it across, and that's a great near post finish from Jude Malvado. It's 2-0 Madrid on the night, 3-1 on aggregate. And the referee has blown this whistle. That 3-1 aggregate win is enough to take Real Madrid through to the Champions League final, where they will face local rivals Atletico Madrid. Let's go, we're on to the final. Wait, 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 wait. has anyone seen Edgar? <laughs> typical, probably out there in a dumpster or something. Edgar arrested after Real Madrid cemented their position in the UCL final. It seems to have gotten to Edgar's head. Rumors are circulating that he was arrested and held overnight by police for being drunk disorderly, but has fortunately been released without charge. But surely this latest and worst episode with Edgar Salinas will spell trouble for him at Madrid, where he is already out of favor with the manager. Listen, boy, enough is enough. I have given you chance after chance, and this certainly cannot continue. Plus, I'm sorry, please. Please just give me one last chance. I promise. I promise I'll do better. I promise. I will clean up my act, I swear. No, I warned you a few weeks ago this would happen, and I'm not changing my mind. You are no longer an employee of this club. Your contract is terminated with immediate effect. I wish you luck in the future, but after dragging this great club's name through the mud, that future cannot be here. I cannot believe this. Jude, did you hear this? No, Edgar, what happened? The boss just sacked me. It was all because of Watkins. I never did anything to him. Why would he do this to me? I just don't get it. Edgar, I'm so sorry that happened to you. I can't believe Ollie Watkins has done this to you, but don't worry, we have them in the final. I will get revenge for you this time. It's okay, man. Just good luck out there. I hope you win, my brother. Champions League final with a dark shadow hanging over it. Edgar Salinas, the once hero of Real Madrid, has been terminated by the club following his arrest after the Champions League semi-final. However, his friend Jude Malvado is on course to become the Ballon d'Or winner should he and Real Madrid win the Champions League today. Atletico Madrid start out strong with the ball and possession. It's whipped in and it's pulled back. Ollie Watkins now has it and puts it over the bar. Poor from Watkins. It's all Atletico so far as they dominate possession. The ball played in and Ollie Watkins makes a great run. He's free on goal and it's a great block to deny Watkins. Real Madrid have the ball. It is a corner. Valverde pulls it to the outside of the box. Vinicius Jr. finds it, plays it out wide to Rodrigo, who pulls it back to Malvado, who puts the ball in with sublime finesse. What an incredible finish from Malvado. And that puts Madrid 1-0 in front. Malvado on the ball, looking for an option. He plays it out wide to Vinicius Jr. Bellingham plays it back through. It's Malvado. What a brilliant finish. Malvado makes it 2-0 to Madrid. And surely they're heading for victory now. Final minute of the game, and Federico Valverde has the ball in space. He chips it over. Malvado with the header. That's the goal. And that is the game. Jude Malvado with a sublime finish winds up this game for Real Madrid. And they will be European champions. The ref blows his whistle, and that confirms it. Real Madrid take 
all the spoils in this Champions League final derby. What a magnificent performance from the Ballon d'Or favourite, Jude Malvado. Let's go! UCL winners! I'm the best! Hey, are you happy? Well, as a matter of fact, I'm European champion, hero of the final, and undoubtedly the winner of the next Ballon d'Or. How about you, Ducky? Happy being a constant loser? I may not have reached the heights you have, but at least I never betrayed my best friend, you filthy rat. Man, fuck that guy! An incredible performance from Real Madrid, and in particular, from their new captain, Jude Malvado, who is surely on course to win the Ballon d'Or as he lifts the Champions League trophy and crowns Real Madrid as European champions. Jude, I'm so sorry for the person I've become. I truly hope you win tonight. You deserve it. Thanks, man. I'm sorry for what's happened. It's okay, brother. It isn't your fault. And the winner is... Judas Malvado! Oh, but it is. It was all me from the start, not Watkins. A star is born. Judas Malvado, the best player in the world, is here with us today for an interview. Judas, how do you feel having won the Ballon d'Or? How do you think? I'm the best player around and it's about time I got some damn recognition for my talent. Fair enough. Uh, Judas, uh, but surely this is bittersweet with what has happened to your best friend Edgar Salinas being released by Madrid. Best friend? I mean, we were kids together, but nowadays he's just a sad, lonely alcoholic with no future. I mean, seriously, he pissed on a UCL trophy. He got arrested a few weeks back. What club would want to touch him now? Hello? Hello, Edgar. Listen, I know how you feel. Let me give you a second chance. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the new season of the Premier League and today we have a massive fixture as Man United take on Liverpool at Old Trafford. We also have new signing Edgar Salinas starting up front for Man United. Man United on the attack, the ball played to Salinas, out to Gabriel Shepard who chips it over, Salinas on the ball and that's a great save from Alisson. United now still putting pressure on, Dallo plays it into Shepard, Shepard into Salinas who puts it over the bar. Poor shot from Edgar. United still applying pressure. Ball into Shepard. He looks for Salinas, finds him, and Salinas misses the shot. That's half time, and the score is still nil-nil. Will anyone be able to break the deadlock in the second half? Liverpool open in the second half with intent now on the attack. Curtis Jones chips the ball over, and that's taken in by Diaz. And it's a poor shot from Luis Diaz. Liverpool keeping the pressure on in this second half. Now we have Diaz on the ball once more, down the left-hand side, cuts back, plays the ball across, and it's a brilliant... No! Ooh, that's close from Curtis Jones. Robertson plays the ball inside Liverpool on the attack once more. Darwin Nunes makes a run in the middle, and that's a brilliant finish. Darwin Nunes makes this game 1-0, and Man United are behind. Poor clearance from Liverpool, gives the ball to United on the edge of the Liverpool area. Lovely play into Shepard, who turns and hits it. What a finish. Gabriel Shepard has levelled this game up right at the death. A fantastic finish, and that will surely give Man United a share of the points today. And yes, the ref has blown the whistle. A lacklustre debut from Edgar Salinas. But a great performance from Gabriel Shepard salvages a draw for Manchester United. Lack, luster, debut. Edgar Salinas has made his debut for Manchester United and it seems like the fans were not too happy as they booed him all game as he missed chance after chance. I, Fabrizio, am still very curious as to why this scandalous man has been signed by the biggest club in the world. Well, at least we can get the answer to that question as we have the man who signed him. So please welcome Mr. Wayne Rooney as he answers the pressing question of why Manchester United signed Edgar Salinas. Good evening to those listening. There are plenty of reasons why I've signed Mr Salinas despite all of his controversies. For one, he is one of the greatest talents the world has ever seen. Being a star of a Premier League side at 18, that isn't normal. 
But the main reason I signed him was that I too once went through a lot of the same issues. However, my manager at the time gave me a chance and look at the player I became. Hopefully I can be that guy for Edgar. I came to United two years ago and the team and I have been working hard to get the club back where we belong. We have a great group of players like our captain Bruno Fernandes, Edgar Salinas and of course our very own Gabriel Shepard. I really feel like we will be back in Europe soon enough. Thank you for your time. There, you have it, the reason for Edgar being at Manchester United. I still believe this man shouldn't be given a chance, but only time will tell. Welcome to United, Mr. Salinas. Thank you, boss. Thanks for having me. Now that your debut's out the way, we have got a lot of work to do. I know you're capable of great things. We just need to get you back to your best and make sure you're looking after yourself. No more drinking, no more partying. If you ever need anything, I'm always here to help. Remember, I've been where you are now. I believe that you can turn yourself around and prove to the world you are one of the best players around. Thank you. Thank you so much. You have no idea how much this chance means to me. I promise I won't let you down. I promise I'll turn my life around once and for all. We are five games into the Premier League and Manchester United's new signing Edgar Salinas has yet to score a goal for his new club. Will today be the day he manages to get his first goal? We'll find out as this game kicks off at Stamford Bridge. Cole Palmer on the ball as Chelsea lead the attack in this game. What can Chelsea do? The ball played in and that's a great save. A lucky escape for United. Bruno with the ball, plays it forward to Shepard. Shepard sees the run of Salinas. Could this be the moment for his first goal? Turns inside and a great save. Throw in taken by Man United into Salinas and he's tackled instantly. Salinas now plays the ball inside. The ball to Fernandez. Back on to Salinas. He carries the ball forward. Edgar Salinas on the ball again. He crosses with his left and that's a woeful cross. United keep the pressure on, but no goals yet. Salinas with the ball, lovely bit of skill, and a horrific shot at the end of it. It's all Man United, but it's still nil-nil. Ball played around nicely. Shepard with a fantastic left-footed finish from outside the box. Gabriel Shepard kills one in and gives United that lead. 1-0 to United in the 89th minute. And that is the final whistle the Chelsea players dismayed. They were holding on for a point until the last minute when that wonder strike from Shepard. Still no goals, however, for Edgar Salinas. Karma is a bitch. It seems like Edgar's scandalous activities have finally caught up to him. Five games into the Premier League season and Edgar has yet to score a single goal. Surely Wayne Rooney has made a mistake and maybe Edgar will finally get what he deserves for the bad image he has created of football. Hey, Alejandro, good work out there. Keep cutting inside, you're the best at it. Fuck, man, I can't catch a break. Why can't I score? Hey, man, don't stress yourself out. You've just had a bad couple of games, so what? You're just in a rut. Keep your head up straight and your goal will come. Yeah, thanks. I'll be fine. Spurs up next. I'm doubt I'm starting. I haven't started in 10 games. And yep. Now starting again, my career is just over, man. We are at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium for Tottenham versus Manchester United. Unsurprisingly, Edgar Salinas remains on the bench as his form since joining Man United has been poor. Will Hoyland and Shepard be able to provide the goals United need to win this game? Tottenham pressure in the United defence, a great start from them. They look to press towards goal, and that's a great finish. Wonderful goal from Benton Corps, and that is 1-0 Tottenham Hotspur. It's all Tottenham still, as United have barely had a sniff in this game. Lovely ball over the top, played inside, and a great first-time finish. Richarlison with the goal to make it 2-0 to Tottenham Hotspur. Hoyland plays the ball over to the wing and it's taken by Anthony, headed into Shepard. Shepard turns inside, can he finish? That's a poor shot from Shepard. He knows he should have done better. United still looking to get a goal back in this game as the ball's played over to Hoyland. Hoyland with a poor left button finish. That is the half-time whistle and the teams head in with Tottenham two goals in front. Will Wayne Rooney's Manchester United be able to turn this round 
in the second half. Alright, as you guys saw, Hoyland picked up a knock. I've been told he won't be able to continue. So, Edgar, lace up your boots. We need you out there. 2 0 down. I don't know if I can do it. I haven't even scored a goal this season. Why does this guy believe in me? Hey, man, don't think about it too much. You're a great player. You will do great. A surprise substitution as Rasmus Hoyland, who seems to have picked up a knock, is replaced by the out of form Edgar Salinas. Shepard now with the ball, he plays it into Salinas, he's got a bit of space, he takes on the defender, but puts it over the bar. Poor finish yet again from Edgar Salinas. Salinas now on the left side, cuts inside, plays it to Shepard, Shepard turns inside, what can he do from here? Gabriel Shepard, and that's a brilliant finish. Gabriel Shepard brings Man United back into this game, that's 2-1 to Tottenham, but United are all over them at the moment. Can they find an equaliser. Still all Man United as they play the ball around looking for a run. The run is made by Salinas, he's in and he finally puts the ball in the net. Edgar Salinas with his first Manchester United goal and what a finish it was. He pulls United level as the ref blows his whistle. A final minute equaliser from Edgar Salinas. What a fantastic finish. Hey team, great game out there. We may have not won the game, but we showed hard and got a point. Let's keep working. Hey Edgar, amazing goal out there. Your first ever for this great club. We should go out and celebrate. You deserve it, man. What the fuck, Gabriel? I don't do that shit anymore. Whoa, man, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. Did I say something I shouldn't have? It's whatever, man. Don't worry about it. Just let me be. The end is near. We are only two games away from the conclusion of this year's Premier League season, and it has been a good one to say the least. However, good isn't a way to describe Manchester United's squad performance this season. Hoylund, after being constantly injured, has been suspended for the last two games after a straight red in the last game. Edgar has been a shadow of his former self as he has only scored a handful of goals coming off the bench. However, there is a hero amongst this squad of mediocrity as Gabriel Shepard has been superb dragging this team with only three points away way for securing UCL football. Can Shepard finish this one-man mission and give Manchester United UCL football? All right, Edgar. I know you've been struggling this season, but you have to turn up these last two games. I trust and believe you to start these last two games, and I know you won't let me down. I know you have that brilliant football inside of you. You just have to bring it out. We've seen glimpses of the greatness you have. We need three points. I know you have it in you. I'll do my best. I hope he's right. I hope I can repay his faith in me. Uh, I don't feel too good. You good? Man, I hope it's not too bad. We got an important game today. Don't worry, I'm sure I'll be fine. By the way, Edgar, how do you feel about starting today? I mean, it's cool, I guess. Look, man, I know you don't like to talk much or open up about things, but if you ever need someone to talk to or to share your worries with, I'm always here to listen to you, bro. Don't forget that. Yeah, no chance. I don't think I'll be opening up to anyone, let alone a teammate, ever again. Not after what happened with Jude. Thanks, but I'm good. We are at St. James's Park today as Newcastle take on Manchester United. A big tie and a good chance for Edgar Salinas to prove his word to the Manchester United first team as he gets to start in this Premier League game. Bruno plays the ball to Salinas, he's driving forward with it, plays it into Shepard. Shepard all alone, he turns inside and puts the ball over the bar. Bruno with a ball over the top, it's cleared by Newcastle, not very far, it's cleared again, but it only gets as far as Bruno. Shepard, oh it's a poor miss once more. Dallow nicks the ball in the Newcastle half, it's into Salinas, plays it into Shepard who's tackled on the edge of the box. That's half time and so far a very poor performance from Gabriel Shepard which is unlike him as he's been great so far this season. Newcastle now pressing the ball, Anthony Gordon carrying the ball down that left wing, looks inside, what can he see? Gordon carries the ball, chips it back, a great header and that's the opening goal. Alexander Isak puts the ball in the net and that's 1-0 to Newcastle United. United not resting on their laurels, they won that equaliser. The ball in, down the left wing, dragged back, Shepard puts it in, it's Edgar Salinas, what a finish! 
Agnes Salinas in the 89th minute once again has bagged the equaliser for Man United. The ref blows the final whistle and the Newcastle United players look dejected as once again Man United snatch a last minute equaliser. Boys, we were unlucky to not secure a UCL football today, but we've got one game left. I didn't have the best of games. I'm sorry I disappointed you all, but let's make sure we win our final game. Hey Edgar, thanks for having my back out there. You really saved us today. I will promise I'll be better by the final game. Yeah, no worries, man. Feel better. It's a massive day at Old Trafford, as Manchester United have a chance to finish in the top four if they win today, or if Aston Villa fail to win in their final game. Will United be able to see it through and claim that European spot? Man City starting the game with intent, and that's a wide open run. For Manchester City, it's chipped across Erling Haaland with a great header. Man City almost instantly head United back. Grealish now looking inside, the ball played around nicely by City, Grealish overlapping the fullback, a brilliant ball inside and another finish from Haaland makes it 2-0 to Manchester City and as things stand it does not look like United will be in Europe next season. And that is the half time whistle here as Manchester City lead United 2-0 at Old Trafford. Meanwhile at Villa Park the score is 0-0 so it does seem like this top 4 race could go down to the wire. Alright boys, forget this last half just happened, we're 2-0 down but all of you guys have got what it takes to get back in this game. Do we want to play in Europa League football or Champions League? Let's focus up and get back out there and get our 3 points. Hey Edgar, it's on us now, we gotta score every opportunity we get, it's our job. I believe in you, I know we got this. All right, boys, let's go out there and win this game. The second half is underway and Man United come out looking reinvigorated. Bruno Fernandes ball over to Shepard. Gabriel Shepard, he puts it away. That's 2-1, a brilliant goal by Gabriel Shepard. Can Manchester United find another two goals to guarantee themselves Champions League football next year? Gabriel plays the ball into Anthony down that wing as we get an update from Villa Park. It's 1 0 to Villa. The leaders puts it away. That's 2 2 here at Old Trafford. As things stand, Manchester United need one more goal. Edgar Salinas, he's been great today. Cuts inside, a lovely run. What can he do with this? Can he drive in? Cuts back outside towards the byline. Edgar Salinas plays it across goal. And Gabriel Shepard scores in the final minute. That's 3-2 to Manchester United. And this will be the goal that sends them to Europe next season. The referee blows his whistle and Manchester United will be playing Champions League football next season. After great performances from both Gabriel Shepard and Edgar Salinas. See, what did I tell you, bro? I knew we could do this. We are going back to Europe. <laughs> Good game, bro. I can't wait. Maybe I can turn my career around. Maybe I can trust someone again. Well, Edgar, that wraps up your first season. It's been up and down, but we got there in the end. I know you've been dealing with a lot of stuff, but you have finally shown us the real you out there on the pitch. Let's keep it going. Next season is gonna to be tough. Thank you, boss. I'm getting better every day. Thank you for believing in me. Let's get ready for the UCL next season. New season is upon us and Manchester United get ready to take on Arsenal here at Old Trafford to open the new season of the Premier League. Will they be in good form as they finished last season? Shepard now with the ball, plays it into Salinas. Salinas carrying the ball forward, chips it over. And that's a great header from Shepard. He went up against the centre-back, beat him in the air and puts it in the top corner. Fantastic finish and a great ball over the top from Edgar Salinas. Shepard driving forward, plays in Edgar down the right-hand side. What can Salinas do? A lovely turn inside, turns back outside, finishes the ball across goal. And that's 2-0 to Manchester United. Wonderful finish from Edgar Salinas. Ball played into Bruno now. Bruno sees the run of Gabriel Shepard, who is one-on-one, -on -one and hits it with venom. 
striking the ball into the top corner. What a fantastic goal. 3-0 to United. And the ref blows the final whistle on this absolute domination of a match from Manchester United. The Arsenal players look distraught as Manchester United start this season in blistering form. Title contenders, what a victory for Manchester United earlier today as they beat Arsenal 3 0. Not only that, but Gabriel continues his amazing form, and even the questionable Edgar puts one in. If Gabriel can guide Edgar back to his best, United could easily be contenders for the Premier League and uh, UCL this season. I'm curious to see how this season turns out. Alright boys, we've done great so far in the league. Let's continue and make a good impression in the Champions League. Hey Edgar, are you okay? You look a little nervous. Yeah, I'm okay. Are you sure? You know you can talk to me, I'm here if you need me. Yeah, I'm f well, it's just that there's someone on the other team that I really let down in the past, and I haven't really seen him since. Ah, I see, yeah. That can be easy, man. But what's happened in the past is done. I find that an apology goes a long way to healing old wounds. Yeah, maybe you're right. Thanks again, man. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Old Trafford, where we kick off this year's Champions League campaign as Manchester United take on Atletico in the first game of the group stage of the Champions League. We have Ollie Watkins and Edgar Salinas once again going head-to-head -head against each other. There's been no love lost in the past as a massive rivalry has existed between these two for many years. Will they be able to put it aside today? Will that animosity enter the game today, or will we see the continuation of Edgar's rise back into form? United pressed the ball forward, Gabriel Shepard has it in the box, what can he do? A lovely turn inside, and a fantastic finish. That's 1-0 United, with a lovely left-footed strike from Gabriel Shepard. Atletico are looking for an immediate equaliser, a lovely chip ball, and a wonderful bicycle kick. Ollie Watkins, what a goal that was. Fantastic finish. United pressing, looking for a second goal. And Edgar Salinas puts the ball away with a lovely strike across goal. Great finish, and that's 2-1 to United. Atletico not done here, still looking for an equaliser. Lovely chip and a fantastic finish. That is two goals apiece to United and Atletico. And that will be the end of the game as the ref blows his whistle. Great game and not a bad result for United on their return to Champions League football. Hey Ollie, I want to speak to you, man. <sighs> what is up now, Salinas? I want to apologize for the way I treated you. I was lost in my ways and just thought you had it out for me. But I guess I was wrong. I hope we can bury our problems and you can forgive me. Don't worry about it. What is done is done. So, after finally burying the hatchet with Watkins, I began to feel a lot better as United and I really started performing well, winning our last five group matches and qualifying for the knockouts. And I know you've probably been wondering where Judas is in all of this. Well, after he betrayed me and won his Ballon d'Or, he's been all over the media talking about his success. I honestly would be happy if I never had to hear his name again. But unfortunately, life doesn't seem to work like that for me. And we have to face each other in the last 16 of the Champions League. A familiar face. It is time for UCL knockout football, and we have an amazing matchup as Real Madrid will face Manchester United. Judas Malvado, the best player in the world, versus a former friend in Edgar Salinas. As good as Manchester United have been this season, Real Madrid and Judas are far superior than Edgar, Gabriel, and rest of the United squad. I think most people will consider this tie done before it has even begun. You hear that, boys? Fabrizio says we can't beat Real. Let's show him who the Red Devils are. Edgar, what's wrong? You look upset. This is a tough day for me. When I was in Madrid, a lot of shit happened. I don't really want to go into it. I know it's hard to talk about these things, but honestly, it does help. When you told me about how you had let someone down in the past, you seemed to be much happier, like a weight had been lifted off from your shoulders. Speaking about it really does go a long way. Okay, but Gabe, this has to stay between us. I promise, anything you tell me stays between us. Well, during my time at Real Madrid and even at Villa, I was gaslit and betrayed, and it left me unable to trust anyone. And ever since, I've been full of anxiety, and it's something that I've been struggling to get over. 
It's horrible that you had to go through that, man. But that won't happen anymore. I promise no one here will betray you. Thank you, Gabe. I hope that's true. The round of 16, the knockout stages are upon us as Manchester United travel to Spain to take on Real Madrid in this first leg at the Bernabeu. And with the much talked about rift between Malvado and Salinas, this could be a feisty affair. Yo, Edgar, you got a Ballon d'Or yet? <laughs> How did I ever see this guy as a friend? Real Madrid start the proceedings on the attack as Malvado carries the ball, turns inside and puts it away. Jude Malvado showing the class that he has as he makes it 1-0 to Real Madrid. As it's all still Real Madrid, they carry the ball forward. Bellingham on the ball, chips it over. Malvado with a first time volley. Another great finish as it's now 2-0 to Real Madrid. That is half time and the United players go into the locker room surely looking to change things up for this second half. Salinas on the ball, plays into Bruno, chip back over, Salinas on the volley, that's a poor, poor shot. Salinas with the ball again, he plays it into Gabriel Shepard, it's back through, Edgar Salinas is one-on-one, -on -one, and that's a great save. United now applying all of the pressure as Bruno plays the ball over once more, and Salinas with another horrific shot, very poor from Salinas. Bruno plays Shepard in, Gabriel Shepard with all the space, what can he do, turns inside the defender, lovely ball roll but it's saved and he hits it on the rebound, he gets that goal and that is 2-1 to Real Madrid, Gabriel Shepard has pulled it back, United now really looking for that equaliser, can they find the goal to level this up, Edgar Salinas plays in Shepard and Shepard puts the ball away, that's the equaliser, that is 2-2 and Real Madrid have lost their two goal lead in this second half. The referee has blown the whistle and that means it will be all to play for in the return leg at Old Trafford. Real Madrid 2, Man United 2. Wow, you really are finished, aren't you? You even need your new little boyfriend to save you tonight. Fuck off, Judas. You're rat. I can't believe I ever bought your friend act. You're dead to me, man. What a shit performance. Another lackluster display from the former golden boy, Edgar Salinas. It is hard to see why United are keeping him around. I think most clubs at this point would have sold him on. He's a troublemaker and he is well past his best. And with us now is Edgar's teammate, Gabriel Shepard, to talk about the game. Gabriel is becoming a problem that you are really having to carry dead weight with Edgar Salinas as a strike partner. Edgar is a great guy and he will come good, trust me. I, I have to disagree. He has been in a huge decline for years and frankly, I don't know why you're defending him when it's you who has to carry him game after game. He is done as a footballer. If anyone's a disgrace here, it's you, Fabrizio. You have no idea what Edgar has been through. He's faced betrayal, trial by media, and has been going through more things than you could ever understand. Oh, not all this again. We have heard it uh, all before from Salinas. But one thing is sure, he's a liability more than an asset these days. I can't believe Gabriel just did that shit. I told him that in confidence. How could he betray me like that? They're all the fucking same. Alrighty, boys. Let's get ready. This isn't over. Let's go to the quarters. Come on, Edgar. We need to win today. Are you ready? Fuck you, Gabriel. I got nothing to say to you. I can't believe you betrayed me and shared what I told you to the entire world in that interview. Don't ever speak to me again. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Champions League. We're at Old Trafford for the much anticipated return leg between Real Madrid and Manchester United. The first leg ended two goals apiece with a wonderful performance from Gabriel Shepard. Will United be able to match Madrid here tonight at Old Trafford and find themselves a way through to the quarterfinal? United start strong on the ball, but the ball is taken from Varane and Malvado plays it across Bellingham. Finally on, put Madrid in front. 3-2 on aggregates, 1-0 on the night. And it's all Real Madrid now as they press forward. Malvado with a lovely left-footed strike. Jude Malvado makes it 2-0 to Real Madrid. Madrid are not letting up as they dominate possession. Vinicius Jr. chips it in. Malvado in the box, lovely turn. And a lovely finish once more. 3-0 in the first half, and you have to think United are out of this tie. 
United looking to claw something back. The ball played into Salinas, and it's a great save. He knows that was the chance to pull something back and get United into this game. United with a corner, it's played short into Salinas, a flick which he's lucky gets the ball back and he hits the bar from close range. Salinas plays the ball off and it's back over to Salinas with another poor shot. 3-0 to Madrid at half time and you have to think that this time must be over. United are still looking for a return goal as Edgar Salinas puts it wide again. Salinas to Shepard, Shepard plays out to Bruno, first time through to Salinas with a horrific shot. Corner to Madrid, it's whipped into the box and it's finished with a great header. What a goal from Edda Militao. That is 4-0 to Real Madrid and Manchester United are out of sight. Madrid are not letting up, it's 4-0 but they still search for more, Malvado with the ball and that's his hat-trick. Jude Malvado puts it away and seals Manchester United fate once and for all. The ball not cleared, it's bouncing around the box, Madrid have it under control and Jude Bellingham puts the ball away to make it 6-0. An embarrassing defeat here today for Manchester United as they lose 6-0 at home against Real Madrid and Jude Malvado. This will surely not be great for Edgar Salinas' confidence going forward. I trusted someone and yet again, I was betrayed. I guess this goes to show that I'm better off on my own. As the season went on, I just couldn't get myself motivated anymore. All the feelings of doubt, all the paranoia, all the anxiety just came rushing straight back. And it was honestly a miracle. By the end of the final game of the season, we were still in the title race. I mean, we had dropped the 12 point lead, but we still had one chance, one game to win to make that title ours. And all I had to do was block out everything that has ever happened to me and focus on this game. I guess you can see where this is going. It's plain and simple for Manchester United. Having squandered a mid season 12 point lead in the league table, United play Manchester City here in the derby at Old Trafford on the final day knowing that they need a win to win the Premier League title. Will they have what it takes to overcome this Manchester City team? City start the game strongly, will they be able to get the advantage? Erling Haaland with a brilliant strike. Erling Haaland gives City the lead and it's very bad news for Manchester United. Bruno with the ball, plays it over the top, Gabriel Shepard with the ball, he looks for an option, turns inside and puts the ball away, Shepard with the equaliser, Manchester City pegged back, it's one all now after that great goal for Gabriel Shepard. Man City play the ball around the United box, Erlen Haaland has it once more, lays it off and that's a fantastic finish. What a right-footed strike to give Manchester City the lead in this crucial Premier League decider. And that is the half-time whistle as Manchester United go in one goal down. They need at least two goals in this second half to win the league. Salinas now looks forward and finds Gabriel Shepard who plays the ball into the box. Lovely strike, but it's over the bar. Bruno Fernandes with the free kick, it's played into Gabriel Shepard and it's a fantastic finish. Gabriel Shepard with the goal that holds them level once more. Surely United can find one more chance in this game. Man City now pressing forward with Erling Haaland, he puts the ball away. It's 3-2 to Manchester City and that could seal the fate of Manchester United and their title ambitions. Shepard now carrying the ball forward, he's working it into the box, he's taken down inside the box and that will be a penalty. Surely Shepard takes this penalty on a hat-trick. Hey Edgar, no matter what's going on between us, I believe in you. You can do this. Here, take this penalty. Now it's Edgar Salinas, he steps up for this penalty, the weight of this title challenge on his shoulders. As Edgar Salinas begins his run-up, he puts it over the bar. Edgar Salinas has just single-handedly given the title to Manchester City. What a poor, poor finish from the spot. The referee blows the whistle and the final score is 3-2 to Manchester City. They have defeated title rivals and local rivals United on the final day. 
as they take to the stage and lift that Champions League trophy. Manchester City are champions of England. Manchester United have blown a 12 point lead and finished second in the Premier League. Maybe I'm done. United wasn't that fresh start I thought it was. I'm sorry for betraying your trust. Believe me, I didn't do it to hurt you. I just couldn't stand them saying all those awful things about you, and I just snapped. But I know you told me in confidence, and if you can't forgive me, I'll understand. Just know I'm so sorry, man. All I ever wanted to do was help you. But instead, I hurt you like whoever hurt you in the past. It's okay, man. I accept your apology, and I forgive you. Let me tell you what happened. My best friend was Judas Mavado. We've been friends since we were kids. We went through everything together. Countless hours of training and sleepless nights, dreaming of becoming footballers. We both had a trial for Villa and actually made it. I mean, bro, seriously, out of nowhere, we were professional footballers and in the Premier League of all places. But it turns out he wasn't ever really my friend. He was the one who pushed me to fall apart. He was the one who ruined my career. Sending pictures to the media? Why? Who knows? I still don't understand why he did it, and it has destroyed me. I just, I just can't understand why would he would do this to me. Oh my god, are you serious? Jeez, man, now I get it. It makes sense that you wouldn't want to let anyone in. I don't know how I would have carried on after that, but you did, man. It may have scarred you, it may seem like it's ruined your life, but you are still here. By the grace of God, or maybe just by the grace of the boss, you're here, wearing the red of Manchester United. You are not done, not by a long shot. It's time to put that asshole behind you. What's done is done. Focus on the future and let's show the world the real Edgar Salinas once and for all. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Etihad for the season opener between champions Manchester City and runners up Manchester United from last season. Will United have what it takes to do what they couldn't do at the end of last season and beat their local rivals? Bruno Fernandes plays the ball into Salinas, lovely bit of skill, he sees Gabriel Shepard into the box, what a finish, that's 1-0 United, away from home here in the Manchester derby, great finish from Shepard and that is advantage to Manchester United. It's half time and after a relatively slow half it's 1-0 to United, who will come out better in this second half? All the pressure still from Manchester United in the second half. A wonderful strike! And what a goal from Edgar Salinas. 2-0 to Manchester United. And Edgar Salinas looks to be in great form. Shepard now plays it forward. Salinas on the ball once more. He cuts inside and loses the defender. A lovely Travella and that's two goals to Salinas. 3-0 to Man United. And Salinas looks to be back in the form of his life. Bruno Fernandes now with the corner for Man United. Can they get a fourth? Edgar Salinas lays it off. Shepard back to Salinas. And that's the hat trick. Edgar Salinas. He's back, people. He is back. 4 0 to United. Three goals for Edgar Salinas. And yes, as the ref blows the whistle, Edgar Salinas collects his match ball. What a performance. Is he truly back to his best? We will find out in the season to come. Have a seat, Edgar. We'll do, boss. You seem to finally have found your form again. I'm glad to see you looking happier out on the pitch. Thank you, and by the way, you have played a huge part, and I can't thank you enough for this chance and all the belief even after my slow start here. But honestly, Gabriel has also helped me a lot. At first, I didn't want to trust anyone, and I kept to myself because of some things that had happened in my past. But he has slowly helped me be able to trust again, and now I'm ready. I'm ready to be the player I was, and the player I'm supposed to be. I want to win everything with Manchester United, for you and Gabe to repay your trust in me. For the fans, for sticking with me. And boss, I want that goddamn Ballon d'Or. I want to show every single person who has shit on my name, who the best player in the world really is. That's the Edgar Salinas I signed. Let's make every single one of them eat their words. Everything feels so abstract. Yeah, it's complicated. What you say, the way.
Guess who is back? Edgar Salinas has been in the form of his life and is the frontrunner for the Ballon d'Or. Manchester United are first in the league by one point and have booked their place in the Champions League final against Real Madrid. However, a horror tackle in the FA Cup final has left fans in doubt of whether Edgar will be fit to play for the rest of the season. Could this hurt United's chance of winning the treble? And could this be the end of Salinas' Ballon d'Or dream? We have his former teammate and childhood friend uh, Jude here for an interview. Jude Dude, you are, uh, did you see the injury? <laughs> injury? Edgar isn't injured. Sure, the tackle looked bad, but I think it's more likely that Edgar is exaggerating to avoid having to face me in the UCL final. That little boy is just scared. <laughs> I'm surprised he isn't out there getting fucked up like he used to. Edgar has nothing on me and he can go ahead and hide in his injury room. Real Madrid and I will beat him in the Champions League final and I will be the one winning that Ballon d'Or. Uh, apologies to our viewers for the colourful language, uh, but those were some harsh words from a childhood friend. I would have expected more sympathy towards Edgar. However, it seems there is no love lost between the two of them. Son, I have some bad news. The doctors told me that you aren't fit enough to play the Premier League decider. If you play, you are risking serious damage as you're not fully recovered and you'll end up missing the Champions League final. You need to recover and hopefully you'll be fit to play against Madrid. No boss, I want to play. I can do it. Edgar, I'm sorry. I, I can't allow it. We need you for the Champions League and resting you gives us the best chance of being fit for that game. Alrighty boys, listen up, we have one last game, and if we win, we are Premier League champions. This is our chance to make history. Edgar isn't with us today, but we know he has had our backs out there all season, so we gotta have this tonight. Let's go out there and win this for him. Once again, the season comes down to this. Manchester United take on Man City, and they need the win once more to take the Premier League title. Unfortunately, they are without Edgar Salinas, who is injured, and hopefully will make a return for the Champions League final. But will United be able to win today without him? City applying the early pressure, Haaland plays the ball out wide, back in over the top, and will this be? Yes, that's the opening goal. Manchester City take the advantage here, and it could be curtains again for United on the final day. Ah, oh, come on boys, it's just one goal, we can do this. Anthony plays the ball to Bruno, into Gabriel Shepard. Shepard with a wonder strike from outside the box. Hits it with his left foot under pressure and curls it past the keeper. What a great finish. That is one goal apiece. Let's go. 1-1. One, one. Just one more goal. And the referee has blown the half-time whistle as Man United and City go in level at one goal apiece. Who will be able to find that winning goal and take that Premier League title? Man United come out looking hungry in the second half. A brilliant run from Shepard as he carries the ball into the box. Gabriel Shepard pulls back around the keeper. Open goal. And it's... No, it's not cleared off the line. It definitely crossed the line. The ref checks his goal line decision system. And that goal will be the winner for Man United. What a fantastic finish. Let's take a look once more at that finish. As you can see, the ball did cross the line. Yes, yes, we're going to do it. We are going to be Premier League champions. And that will be the final kick of the game as the ref blows the whistle. Manchester United take to the podium as they are about to be crowned Premier League champions. They couldn't do it last season, but this season, Manchester United lift that Premier League title as they become champions of England. The battle of the century. We have an amazing Champions League final, Real Madrid and Manchester United. The former best friends are at it again, Salinas versus Malvado, and well, instead of me telling the story of this final, let's ask the boys themselves. Here we have both Edgar and Jude for exclusive interviews. So Jude, how are you feel going into this final? Well, if the last meeting is anything to go by, this will be the easiest final ever. I don't expect Edgar to even play because of his so-called injury. I bet he has been drinking himself to sleep every night because he can't deal with facing me in the final sober. 
some harsh words as per usual from Judas. So now to Edgar Salinas is Jude saying the truth. Is that injury real or have you partying ways taken over once more? Look Fabrizio, I've had my troubles in the past. We both know that you've certainly done your first share of reporting on the matter. But this injury is real. I missed the final league game, but I am doing everything in my power to get fit for this final. I want nothing more than to play on the grandest stage and show the world I'm capable once and for all. Boss, you have to let him play. You can see what this means to him. I promise if the doctors say it's okay, he can play. So, boss, what's the verdict? Do I get to play? The doc says you're not fully fit, but should be able to manage with some painkillers, but I don't know if I should. If you do any more damage, it could be career ending. I don't know if I want to let you take that risk. Boss, I know you only want to protect me, but I've worked my entire career to get to this point. If I have to risk ending my career to have this moment, then I'm fine with that. But it won't come to that. I know my body, you have to let me play. Okay, you can play. In other news, Bruno's leaving us next season and he won't be playing tonight. I want you to wear the armband. I can't believe it. I'm so happy that you believe in me this much. But I'm not the person who should wear that armband. If anyone deserves it, Gabe does. He is the real reason I'm here now. He is the reason this team is on the verge of a treble. He is the real leader. Give the captain's armband to him. You're right. I'll let him know. Hey Gabe, well done on getting the captaincy, man. Why do I have a feeling that you had something to do with this? <laughs> nah, bro. It was all you. You earned it. <laughs> okay, thanks. By the way, how is your knee? I mean, it still feels a bit stiff, but the painkillers have helped me. I feel 100%. And the whole Judas thing? You good with that? I don't give a fuck anymore. He's just another obstacle on the way to the bottom door. And this is it. This is what it all comes down to. Wembley Stadium for Real Madrid versus Manchester United in the Champions League final. Judas Malvado takes on Edgar Salinas and whoever wins this game will be the front runner for the Ballon d'Or. Which one of these great teams will come out on top and become European champions? Early pressure comes from Real Madrid as Rodrigo carries the ball, puts it back across to Malvado who puts it away. Jude Malvado with a great finish makes it 1-0 to Real Madrid. Manchester United not looking to get sucker punch like they did last year and yes Gabriel puts the ball away. Fantastic finish from Shepard and that's one goal apiece. The game is once a game level. Malvado plays the ball into Valverde who looks for the run of Malvado. Malvado gets inside gets the ball and yes he does put it away as you would expect. Jude Malvado with a great finish to give Real a 2-1 lead. What a fantastic first half of football we've had. The score is 2-1 to Real Madrid, but this really could go either way. Hopefully the second half is just as good. Bruno with the corner for Man United. Plays it short into Edgar Salinas who turns inside. Edgar Salinas with a fantastic finish. That's the equaliser and that is 2-2 with a great finish from Edgar Salinas. United win the ball back there, really battling hard here. The ball played into Salinas, and yet again he puts it in the net. Man United take the lead for the first time in this tie, and that is Edgar Salinas with the goal. Bellingham now, he looks for the run off Malvado, he finds him through on goal. Jude Malvado with the finish. What a fantastic goal that is, and a hat trick to Malvado. United now seriously searching for the winner. Lovely chip from Edgar. It's into Shepard and he hits it on the volley. Gabriel Shepard in the 89th minute of this Champions League final has surely just secured the win for Man United. What a finish and what a match this has been to watch. And yes, the referee has blown his whistle. Manchester United are to be crowned champions of Europe. What a performance from both Edgar Salinas and Gabriel Shepard as Manchester United lift that Champions League trophy. The last question now to be answered is which of these wonderful players will win the Ballon d'Or? We've got Edgar Salinas, Champions League and Premier League winner and we have Jude Malvado who though a runner-up did score a hat-trick in the Champions League final. Who will win that elusive Ballon d'Or.
And the winner is Edgar Salinas. Bro, this is the achievement of a lifetime. I'm so proud of you. But more importantly, we need to go celebrate and party tonight. Are you fucking kidding me, Gabe? Hell yeah, we do. But just a soda for me. 